Hi, I'm Rob Furlong. Today with me, I have Justin Smith from Sheepdog Tactical. Thanks for having me, Rob. Today we're going to be reviewing the marksmanship principles. So let's get right into it. The fundamentals of being an accurate precision rifle shooter is your marksmanship principles. Uh, a lot of times we lose that natural ability we have. We start depending on things like technology uh, and, and so forth. We really need to start to focus more on uh, your bases, and that is your marksmanship principles. The first one we're going to cover today is proper body alignment, proper body uh, position. So, Justin, the first thing I want you to do is just shift slightly to your right. What I'm looking for here is that the muzzle all the way back through the stock into the shoulder down the small of the back is perfectly aligned with the shooter. This is what's going to be considered a proper firing position. For this demonstration, we're going to be using uh, a sand sock or bean bag, however you'd want to refer to it. For today, I just quickly made one up. And all this is, is just a new sock filled with popcorn kernels. You can tie a knot in it. And that's how simple uh, you know, your support sock can be. There's many options uh, for these. You can even buy these at your local retailers. Uh, but I do um, recommend the use of some support device uh, to place underneath your stock when doing precision rifle shooting. So Justin, I'm going to get you to move into position. If you can place that into your left hand, put the stock into your shoulder. As you can see, Justin is supporting the stock with the sand sock and has the stock loosely up into his shoulder. At this point in body position, he's not really looking down the scope. He's just aligning himself with the weapon system to allow for proper body position. Okay, you'll see that <clears throat> he does have proper alignment. If you look down the rifle, down through the shoulder and small of the back, all the way down out through the knee. This is what we're looking for, for body to absorb recoil. When you're using larger caliber guns like 338 Lapua and 50 Cal, there's a lot of recoil the human body has to absorb. And to be able to be consistent, uh, you have to be able to back on target naturally. So this is going to assist in absorbing that energy. Okay, if you want to test proper body position, one of the things I recommend uh, for my instructors is we'll come up to the student, we'll give them slight corrections, but sometimes we'll even come back if the student hasn't really felt uh, the recoil and doesn't really understand what we mean by proper body position, we'll push back on the system. And you can see as I'm pushing back on the system how the body is actually absorbing that recoil and allowing the firearm to go back into a natural position. That's extremely important for, again, that accuracy and repetitiveness. So Justin, how does that feel? Feels good. Okay, good. So here we are now out on the range. I have Justin already down in his prone position. He's taken up a proper firing position. You can see that as you follow the barrel down all the way through to the stock, good firing position into the shoulder, down the small of his back, out through the knee area. This is the proper position to be in to absorb, absorb that recoil. So what's going to happen next is I'm going to ask Justin, Justin, I want you to give me a three round group downrange at 100 meters on your own time. Carry on. One thing to watch for here is Justin is going to be his breathing sequence. He's going to do those three breaths. He's going to exhale halfway on his third breath, hold it, and proper, uh, proper trigger pull. So go ahead, Justin.
unload. How did that feel? Felt great. So here I am with Justin. Justin's down into the prone position. And we're going to carry on with marksmanship principle number two, weapons alignment. So what's important to note with weapons alignment is that there has to be a supported position for the rifle. The rifle shouldn't take any effort to keep your crosshairs on target. You should be able to look up over your scope. Take a quick peek, Justin. And back down naturally behind the scope. Your cheek should rest perfectly on your cheek rest. You shouldn't have to adjust your head up or down, left or right. Now also, it's important that the sand sock has enough tension on it to support the weight of the rifle itself. You're not really pulling the pistol grip into your shoulder. It's just a slight squeeze with your four fingers. And you just want to make sure that all the pressure is back directly into the shoulder. Any movement left or right are going to cause inaccuracies and you're going to have rounds striking your target left or right of your point of aim. So Justin, how does that feel? Feels good, Rob. Okay. So you'll see that if I was to move forward and look down through the scope, down to the stock, and check Justin's hand position, he has a nice grip on the sandbag, nice supportive position. He's able to look up over his scope, identify which target lane he's on, move back down behind the scope, confirm he's still on target. That's a good example of uh, proper weapons alignment. So I'm here with Justin. Justin's in a prone, ready to review marksmanship principle number three. This is going to be side alignment. Side alignment is imperative. One thing you're going to struggle with as a new shooter is finding that proper eye relief. When we reviewed in our, one of our earlier segments how to properly mount your scope, we set up our cheek piece and our scope in such a position that when you naturally get behind your target, you have a good sight picture. Well, that goes hand in hand with sight alignment. When you take up your position, as Justin has here behind the coyote, you can see how he's naturally just resting on his cheek piece in a very comfortable position. And how's your sight picture, Justin? It's good to go, Rob. Excellent. So even on high power right now, he's not struggling. His head is very still. He has a good sight picture. If I was to decrease the magnification to a lower power, his eye box is actually going to become much larger, allowing that uh, amount for forgiveness. One of the things to, uh, to note and to be aware of for proper sight alignment as a shooter, if you're looking through your sight picture and you have what we call shadowing or half mooning, this is improper sight alignment. You're going to have to adjust your head left or right, or in most cases, your cheek rest has to be adjusted up and down. It also could be an indication that your scope is mounted improperly. So to fix that, you have to go through our mounting procedure once again. Loosen off the rings, get behind the scope in a natural position so that uh, the system is aligned naturally with the target, and move forward the scope on the rings to find that proper uh, eye box relief. So I'm here with Justin. Justin is down into the prone position, and we're going to be covering marksmanship principle number four, proper trigger press. You often hear the term trigger pull. It's more of a press, and we prefer to call things uh, in their proper terminology, reason being we want to stop anybody from having bad habits. So the first thing I'm going to have Justin do is place his finger onto a rifle that we've already cleared. And you can see the position that he has his finger in. He has the trigger on the first pad. This is the more sensitive uh, part of your finger. And it's going to allow for straight pull back. We're going to be very mindful when pulling your trigger that it is a slight press and not a pull. Pull is going to cause the weapon to uh, cause inaccuracies left and right. Now. Also with this marksmanship principle is to note the breathing sequence. The breathing sequence is very important. 
What we want to do is oxygenate the blood so the brain isn't starving for oxygen and allow you to hold that one to three second hold before you release the shot. So we're going to review that now. So Justin, what I want you to do is take two to three natural breaths. And you'll see on his back, as an instructor, we watch for this to make sure that the student is taking big breaths before he attempts to release a round. About your third breath, you can stop your exhale about halfway. Now, at this point, when the student stops that exhale, he has basically that two, three second mark, that optimal range to release that round. That's what we encourage our students at the academy to uh, aim for. So, Justin, what I want you to do is you can drop your bolt handle. Okay, just go through a breathing sequence. Give me two or three big breaths. On that third one, you can do a hold. And just fire right now, round that range. Okay, now as you can see, as an experienced shooter, Justin has held the trigger to the rear. This leads us into our final portion of this segment, which is follow through. Follow through, again, is very important to increase your uh, chances of accuracy. The follow through is basically once the shot is released, you hold the trigger to the rear. Exhale the remainder of your breath, release your trigger, and on doing so, if have pr with proper sight and weapon alignment, you should be perfectly back on target. Now to walk through all that again, I'm going to have Justin, Justin just uh, cock your bolt there again. Okay, so I'm just going to have Justin go through as I talk here. So the first thing you're going to do is place your finger onto the trigger, onto that first pad. You're going to start your breathing sequence. You can watch. You'll see the small of the back start to rise and fall. On about that third breath, you're going to hold halfway out on your exhale. And when in two to three seconds, release your round. Holding the trigger to the rear, you're going to continue on that exhale, release your trigger, and you should be exactly on your point of aim. And this will be your final marksmanship principle. Well, that's it for marksmanship principles. I'd like to thank Justin Smith from Sheepdog Tactical for coming out and giving me a hand today. Thanks, Justin. My pleasure, Rob. For all your gear needs, visit Justin at sheepdogtactical.ca. And for all your training needs, check us out at Rob Furlong's Marksmanship Academy. And remember, shooters, precision is practice. Thank you.